That's actually crazy how it's just normal science too. Here's the thing about it, guys. For the people out there that, you know, maybe don't understand all the science, maybe you don't even care to understand all the science. It turns out they're just using normal physics, but they figured out how normal physics works. They figured out the root cause of normal physics. So that's the big rub is that like, if you, if you ask physicists, like why, why and you keep going down to the bottom, you very quickly go to a point where physicists can't explain things anymore. They can't explain why, why do I have mass? You told me that I have mass, but why? Uh, you say, where does, okay. Gravity exists, right? I can drop something. It hits the ground, right? But why, why? Well, space time has curvature. Okay. Why, why? Right. And quickly, very quickly, they, they run out of ways to be able to answer the question. That's what they're hiding. That's what they're hiding. They're hiding smart ways to use physics because they figured out the answer. I'm going to tell you what invariance means. And I'm not ashamed to say that I learned today. I mean, I've Googled in the past, but like I learned what it really means today. Invariance. Not something that doesn't change. So what we're doing when we're looking at invariance from physics, we're trying to understand the nature of the universe without considering us moving through it. The problem with relativity, as I've told you guys before, is that we're all in our own little bubble. We're all in our own little bubble all the time. And we're interacting with other people's bubbles. And our times, all of our clocks are set pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. But what this also means is that we don't have a frame of reference. We don't really have a, a standard frame of reference for everybody. Because everybody's technically in their own little bubble. So when we use invariance, what we're doing is we're saying, take that out of the equation. Take that bubble out of the equation. I just want to look at the medium. I want to just look at the ether. I want to see the medium, but not from my perspective, from just a hypothetical general perspective. Why? Because if I can figure that out, I can manipulate reality. The entire Jason group's all professors. You know, I did not expect it, but when I started looking into all the dirt authors, I realized almost half or more of them were university professors. And I thought that was strange because I was like, wait, isn't academia full of shit? Don't they like not know about this? And I realized, oh, some of them do. The ones that are connected to the defense contractors, the government, those professors, they probably got their professorship because they're connected. And I went, oh, this is how it works. So there's certain academics at the top that do know about this stuff. And the rest of them are basically just morons who don't realize that they're being kept in the dark.